Well, folks, sometimes I just feel so sad for this generation. They're getting swept away into these false beliefs and Luciferian rituals even, as we've seen in the past few weeks on the Rise channel. So many people are caught up in this deception that is coming upon the world. And that's what we're trying to do here, folks. We're trying to raise awareness so that people might be able to discern the false philosophies and the lies that people are being brainwashed with in this society. If you stick with this video for a few minutes, I'll show you plain and simple what this agenda is about. Man trying to elevate himself and to achieve immortality without Jesus, without the forgiveness of sin. They are working as the false light. You know, Satan masquerades as an angel of light, and it really is that simple. They think they're on the good side. They think that they are on the winning side. They think that they are light workers. They think that they're in for this wonderful new age, this new Aeon of Horus, and they're deceived. And this is what they were showing in the previous video that we covered. They had the light, the light on their foreheads. Now you think about that. This is all inverted, folks, because they turn everything upside down. As Jesus said, if the light be, that's in you be darkness, how great is that darkness? This is a false light, quite simply. They've got the light on their foreheads. Now you think about it with the mark of the beast. You know, the, the mark on the foreheads. And, you know, with the right hand can denote actions. So, with their actions in this ritual before, they were building the Tower of Babel, the new Babylon, for the Antichrist and the false light of the new, the new age. And so, with their actions, they're serving the beast, and they've got this mark or this light on their foreheads, just like the mark of the beast will be on the foreheads. So you think about that. They think that is light. They, it's almost like they think that is the seal of God. They think that light, the, the mark of the beast is a good thing. They think that they're on the, good, the winning side, rising above the uh, tyranny and the oppression of the Demiurge and rising into this new age. They literally turn this upside down, and that's a key thing to remember here, folks. And they think we, Christians, are on the bad side. It's because everything is upside down. They switch darkness for light and light for darkness. Does it not say in John 16 2, Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. You know, these people are completely deceived. These this New Age theosophists. This big popular rave again with the young people being indoctrinated and brainwashed and mind controlled with this propaganda that is leading them to want to serve the beast and that is being pushed into their minds you see in this image that emblem at the front of there that is from babylon look once you start to see that these things are all tying back to this kingdom, to this kingdom of darkness, to Babel, to Babylon. And once you start to see that all of these things, they're all part of the same thing, the same deceptions from Babylon, it becomes so much more simple and you realize that the Bible has had it right all along. You know, that, that uh, represents the sun disk from Babylon and this false religion the religion of Babylon, that this is very, it all ties in together. It's very similar. You'll see, um, you'll see there the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, they use that sunburst. And you'll see there in this Masonic emblem, you've got the two pillars either side. You've got the sun in the center with that very similar sunburst again, that same style. Really, this is tying into a new Babylon the resurrection of Babylon, so to speak, the Babylon reworking, that this final kingdom comes upon the earth. So why does this, in this modern day and age, in the middle of a modern music festival, a dance festival, with young people, 
Why are they showing the sun disc from Babylon at the front of the concert where everyone is giving their energy, they're all enjoying it, they're all, you know, shouting and screaming and dancing um, under the, the hypnosis of the music and the substances that they're probably taking. Why is there a sun disc from ancient Babylon at the front of this music concert? Because this reveals the very simple truth, folks. This is a battle between two kingdoms. That statue in the book of Daniel, uh, which represents the kingdoms of man, the head is representative of Babylonia. And this same system, this religious system that has come down through the ages, and it's still part of the same thing. Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. So judgment is coming to Babylon, folks. But anyway, I just want to cover quickly this ritual that I've seen. Someone sent me this. They, they went to this event. You see the symbolism uh, that they're using. But they even show in the, you know, in the trailer for the event that this is a ritual, you see. They've got a new ritual. And they've got that, you know, the, the wings of this phoenix behind it. The new ritual was born. Um, and they've got the that Babylonian symbol of the sun god, and it talks about forging a new reality. So this is about that new age, that antichrist age, that Aeon of Horus, the sun god. You know the um, the this counterfeit of the millennial reign, which you know the enemy only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He counterfeits, he copies. Uh, you know this is counterfeited. This is copied. You see the third eye symbolism that's being used and honestly folks they show this vortex coming in front of the crowd and then this evil voice comes out and announces at the front in front of these thousands of people nearly all of them um, you know not realizing what's going on what they're actually being part of and it talks about leading them into the void into the black void and the voice describes this this place of nothingness, right? This place of nothingness that this audience is being led into as part of this music ritual. This place of nothingness which doesn't have a beginning and doesn't have an end. And so basically it's describing, from my point of view, that they are being transported, at least visually, at this ritual into or conceptually even, into the bottomless pit. The place that has no beginning and no end, this void, symbolically to the bottomless pit. And as this then counts down from 10, and he gets everyone worked up in the audience into a frenzy, counting down from 10, 9, 8, 7, uh, this veil, this veil drops down and they go show going through the veil into this pit, you know, bottomless pit, essentially. And this massive symbol of the ancient Babylonian sun god lights up in all these colours in front of everyone. And, you know, has almost identical to that image from Babylon, from ancient Babylon. From This is thousands of years old, folks. Thousands of years old. The sun god, the sun disc from ancient Babylon. Why, oh why, is that being shown in the year 2023, 2024 at these music venues? Because it's the same gods being worshipped. Um, and, you know, and that's what they're showing. The same thing we keep seeing over and over again. Revelation chapter 9 verse 11, just like in the Olympics closing ceremony. And they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Apollyon the destroyer. The angel of the bottomless pit. And in this ritual, again, they just start it off, making it known that it's a ritual, that, you know, the people there, they're partaking in a ritual, whether they realize it fully or not. 
and then they start describing the bottomless pit, going into the pit, into the void that has no end, you know, where there's no consciousness or whatever they say, and then they drop the veil when they go into this place, symbolically, and they show the uh, Babylon, ancient Babylon, sun disc, winged disc, which represents the sun god. This is their gospel, folks. This is their gospel. Revelation chapter 9 verse 11 is their gospel. They want to bring Apollo, they want to worship Apollo, they want to make Apollo king in people's lives. They want to manifest this thing. They, they want to bring the Antichrist. But remember that they are not the ones in control. As I conclude, you know, God is sovereign. You know, this is not an equal playing field. The enemy is a created being. Remember at the cross, Jesus Christ spoiled principalities and powers. He, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. You know, it is finished at the cross, folks. Jesus is the king of all kings. Jesus has won the victory at the cross. It's the lion of the tribe of Judah who opens the seal in the book of Revelation. Remember, God is the one that's sovereign over all things. You know, as, as we show these things, the idea is that we bring you to the truth that the Bible says everything we need to know. You know, we know that Babylon is going to be judged in this world one day in the book of Revelation. You know, and the wrath of God is coming upon this world. Unsurprisingly, as the world enters into the days of Noah and everything that's going on. So it makes me reflect, you know, things that I fall short in, the pride in my heart at times, and the sin that I've committed in my heart. So really, as we see these things come about, we should be sobered up and reminded that ultimately we need forgiveness in our own hearts and we don't deserve to go into heaven of our own accord so we need to come to him and put our trust in him as he died for me on the cross to save me from my sin and then he rose again on the third day follow jesus christ who is the only light of life god bless